excited that my teammates, you know, you know, in times where maybe some of us aren't playing so well, we're there to have one another's back, you know, whether it's on defense or helping each other out on offense, setting screens, moving without the ball, things of that, things of that nature. We were able to do that today, and, you know, I'm so proud of the effort that we gave. You know, we could have laid down and, and folded at the, at the, towards the end of the game when we were down 10. I think it was 54 to 44, and, um, you know, we came in the timeout. We were like, y'all, this is not the time for us to, for us to give in. You know, people were saying they were tired in the huddle, and we, I was like, y'all, we've been more tired than this in our, in the long practices that we've had, you know, where we still have conditioning left, and you find a way to fight through it. You find a way to get it done, and, and today something huge was on the line, and for us to be at this point, you know, making it to the Final Four for the first time in our program's history, and in that same same season making it to the national championship game is something uh, that our team will be remembered for for a long time to come, and it's, it's huge. And, uh, they kept, they would open it up, and then you guys would like reel them back in, and yeah. they, could, they could never break, pull away, pull away from you. I mean, what, was it just? Um, it was really, your, I think. Your defense I'm sorry. Or what? Go ahead. Yeah. Um, in the in that last stretch, like I said, after the the last media timeout, I think it was like 3:58 left on the clock or something. Um, and, you know, we really upped the pressure. You know, we got in our full court defense and we're pressing them hard. We got some five second calls, made them call some timeouts, um, got some turnover, made them force some turnovers. Adora in the, in the last play, you know, I was taking away um, their point guard and Adora was just turning the girl. There's this drill that we do defense to the floor every time we start our defensive part of practice. And, you know, we dread it because it's so tiring. It's like zigzag going back and forth, back and forth. And usually our posts don't like to do that. They're like, why do I need to do this? When am I ever going to guard? a post for the full length of the court and today it came to fruition that it was actually going to have to happen and Adora did a heck of a job you know turning that girl for like 20 something seconds and you know uh, our defense is what has gotten us to this point and we talked about it before the game don't do anything different everything that we've done thus far in the season is what's gotten us to this point keep doing it and we'll and we'll be in a, in a really good spot and luckily we are not even luckily we work for it so we're here and it's awesome how do you feel how do I feel? Physically. I'm bummed. I really didn't want to play in the national. <laughs> <laughs> Had something to back in College Station on Monday or what? <laughs> I mean, physically, I mean, yeah, we're tired, of course, but like I said, when something huge is about to be on the line, we're going to find a way to rest up, get in the cold pool, get some fluids in our body, and we don't plan to make excuses, you know. We've never been a team of excuses when we know that something's happening and it's, you know, to our fault. You're welcome. When it's our fault, you know, we take the blame for that and we get better in practices. And in this game, you know, there were times where we could have folded, like I was just telling her, but we came out and, um, like I said, this team, I, the word I always use is resilient, you know. And, you know, we work hard and we fought back and it was huge. And now we get to go to the national championship game. So it's kind of a big deal. Does that suck in? Huh? No matter what, do you got one more game left and it's, it's the biggest of all? It, it absolutely has, you know. Um, only two teams are always left at the end of the season who get to play for play the last game of the season and, and you know, we're one of them and you know, I always hope that this would happen, but it's so surreal right now. It's so weird that it's actually here, you know, and that we'll get to play in that game on Tuesday night. And I'm, I'm so proud of the way that my girls played, not just today, but all throughout this tournament and all throughout the year. You know, there are many times where people doubted us. You know, nobody expected us to go be number one Baylor. Um, people were definitely doubting us other than Aggie Nation, I'm sure. Um, you know, people definitely weren't expecting us to win this game. And... Uh, I'm just glad that we could put all that to the side and play for one another and get the job done. So I'm beyond thrilled. What's been the key to the lack of fight in this team? Down 10 and you guys play pretty smooth.